hardship. We give a new hope to couples struggling to start a family. Today, Boston 25 News was the first tour Boston IVF, an infertility treatment center that just finished renovations incorporating some of that new technology. Yeah, that means more Massachusetts couples are becoming families, so many that the numbers surprised us. When Cambridge's Janine Serignano was trying to get pregnant, it just didn't happen. I had tried everything. Eventually, she came to Boston IVF for treatment. Each person has a different situation that brings them here. And I think of it like a puzzle. Each person's infertility is, is a puzzle that their doctor tries to solve. Dr. Rita Sneeringer was her doctor. One of your patients told me that she feels like you're a miracle worker. <laughs> what do you think about that? Well, I, I would consider myself a miracle worker, but it is really a privilege to help people. There are a lot of people to help. According to Boston IVF, one in eight couples in Massachusetts struggles with infertility. But in the last several years, there have been a lot of advancements in the field. And that's helped us a lot in terms of having um, higher success rates, so more patients are getting pregnant and in a shorter course of time. Dr. Denny Sackis says embryos can now be monitored by video continuously, providing vital information on the best embryos and best time to implant. He also says freezing techniques and genetic testing have improved. There is much less chance of her having a miscarriage. Her pregnancy rates are much, much higher. He says these advances mean roughly 2% of all children born in the Commonwealth are a result of IVF, or one student in every Massachusetts classroom. There is more hope, and, and even in the last three or four years. Janine is now the mother of an 18-month-old, and she's pregnant again. She says women who want help should seek it out. I think it's absolutely worth trying, and there's no shame in it. Now, Dr. Seeringer says Massachusetts is one of the few states in the country to mandate insurance coverage for treating infertility. She says women who've tried to conceive for six months to a year unsuccessfully should see their doctor.